And if we go back to 1980, when I first started working on these aquatic insects, so almost 40 years ago now, well, it's hard to believe. Um, at that time, uh, the, the notes that were in the scientific literature really kind of, um, the impression <coughs> when people encountered them was that these are just isolated instances of an insect that's kind of out of synchrony. It's, it's not in synchrony with the rest of the individuals and it's, it's growing a little quickly. It emerges in the wintertime into very hostile conditions and probably freezes to death. So very little consequence ecologically if you think of them as, as being just out of synchrony with others that are part of the population that probably emerge in the winter. So that was the idea. But what we kept finding was large numbers of individuals on the snow and, and like I said, mating and flying at unusual temperatures. So this suggested that maybe they really are adapted to wintertime emergence and have a life cycle that's tuned to um, cold weather.